This is the wilderness of southwest Tasmania. Remote in its grandeur, majestic, enthralling. It's one of the few regions left in the planet, which is as it was 15, 20,000 years ago when the Aboriginal people of Tasmania lived here. It represents the cradle of humanity. Oh, I just feel great. This is, a, this is to me, this is uh, the, the warmest connection with the universe that we as human beings have. In the by-election for the federal seat of Flinders in 1983, 41% of people wrote no dams on their ballot paper. It was a new phenomenon in Australian politics. Not just a specific conservationist cause, but a movement devoted to wilderness. It wasn't the politicians who protected the river, it wasn't the engineers, the experts, the bureaucracies, the big business or the unions. It was the people themselves throughout Australia saying, we demand that that area be protected. In 1989, disputes over environmental standards scuttled plans for a pulp mill at Wesley Vale in the state's northwest. And its most prominent opponent, Christine Milne, is leading protests against the latest mill manoeuvring. Senator Josephine Valentine has had a short political career, but a lively one. The people out there, the electors of Cunningham, do see the Greens as a real alternative. The winds of change are blowing through. Senator Brown, I warn you, Senator Brown will excuse himself from the House. They interrupted President Bush. It is hope for the future and empowerment of the many that the Greens bring to this Senate. It is to be the voice of those who feel that they have not been represented that the Greens take on a role as advocate. The Greens' approach to all we do is based on our four key principles, social justice, peace and non-violence, participatory democracy, and ecological and economic sustainability. My central preoccupation and reason for being here is that I share with my Green colleagues the optimistic sense that Australia, the world, is poised on the edge of a historic transformation, and I'm convinced that we are up to this challenge. In 2008, the Canberra community elected the Greens to the balance of power. We've listened and we've delivered. At this election, around the country, more than one in nine people voted for the Greens. History demonstrates that while parliaments make the laws, people are the driving force for social change. And we will balance the needs of today with the needs of tomorrow. That's what the Greens stand for. Gandhi once famously said, you must be the change that you want to see in the world. I believe one of the great strengths of the Greens is our constructive parliamentary work, combined with our commitment to amplify, in this place, the voice of progressive people's movements. They won't come easily. It's a world that we must fight for. As I've said several times here in this place, there is growing support in the Australian community for marriage equality. And it is only going to continue to grow. If it doesn't get through up there, then uh, I'll bring on my bills for debate in the State Parliament later this year. We are caretakers of this unique planet, and we need to deliver it to future generations and to other species in better condition than we inherited it. Politics can also have a much more hopeful, optimistic future. For there's another side to humanity. One that sees someone in trouble and extends a helping hand. One that says we need more love, not less. One that offers hospitality even when times are tight. And one that says it's better to live within the limits of the planet rather than putting everything on the never never and leaving our children and grandchildren to pay the debt. It is with dreams of great proportions that we will solve our current crisis. It is around the core values of sustainability, compassion 
and equality, that we can forge a politics for the 21st century and create a new community.